Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today, y'all already know by looking at the title and all of that, what this video is about. I posted my first video in September of last year. So it's about to be a year soon, right? But however, I was working a full-time job at a call center. So I didn't really have time to post a lot. Um, when you first start out your YouTube channel or whatever, it is difficult. Like, when I first started out, like my first day, I think I had like 10 subscribers or something like that. But that's because it was like my friends, a few friends, a little bit of family and stuff I got like that. And I already um, told them that I was going to get a YouTube or whatever. So, you know, they was looking out for it. But like, I'll say it took me like two weeks, two weeks to reach like 45 subscribers. And I was hyped. But after that, it just was, like, not growing. It was, like, really slow. So, um, I was, like, wondering, like, what the hell am I doing wrong? And do people not like my videos? People rarely, when you're small, you don't see the hate comments as much. So, everybody's just saying sweet stuff, even if your shit sucks ass. But, um, I took a look at my own stuff. And my very first video, which is actually private because I don't like it. Um, I felt like if people see this for a first impression, if they see this video before they see any of my other videos, they're just going to be like, oh, let me get the hell off her channel. That's how I felt. So I turned it private. But what I will do is I'll make the video um, public for you guys so you guys can go see what the hell my first video looked like compared to what they look like now. I felt like it was too dark. The quality sucked. I feel like my makeup wasn't even popping like that, but I just put that shit out. At the time, I thought it was dope, but when you make your first video, you always think it's good because you don't have another reference of your own to go off of. Me, personally, I don't try to replicate nobody else's work. I don't want my channel to look like anybody else's. I want my channel to like my channel, so I wasn't trying to create anyone else's look. So, I thought it was dope. It wasn't. I think that kind of contributed to my um, subscribers going kind of down. So, what I've done... Is Halloween came up the next month. I posted two videos, Red Robin Hood and some zombie makeup. And I went in for it. Like my intro for Little Red Robin Hood, it was cute or whatever. You know, I was outside acting like I got scratched by the wolf and stuff like that. But I was being creative. So the more effort and stuff you put into your video and the, the good the better the quality, the more likely of a chance people are gonna come back. You don't wanna be dry, you don't wanna be like this. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I created this look. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you how. And this is how they do it, right? Tell me if I'm lying. So first, you're going to take your brush and you're just going to dry your whole face. And th that's dry as fuck. Like, if you dry, don't be on here. <laughs> because I'm going to wake him up. Um, to me, makeup tutorials are kind of boring anyways, but you don't want it to be so dry to the point you're like, man, let me get the hell out of here and find somebody else with a smoky eye. You want people to stay on your channel, so you want to be lively. Just be yourself. If you're quiet, cool, be quiet. Maybe you could put some bomb music in the background while you're not talking. I don't really know, but you, dryness is not going to work if you want your views or, or subscriber count to go up. So, um, you need to be lively. And in my very first video, I was, I was everything that I'm telling you guys not to be. I was dry. I was dead. The quality sucked. My makeup sucked. I was not into, it just was horrible. And I was going by a different name. I just started to want to call my name China. So the name of my channel was called Eyes on China. That ain't even it no more. I'm just like, screw it. Let me just go by my middle name, Carrie. My boyfriend actually came up with the name Baked by Carrie because I didn't want Beat by Carrie because everybody do Beat by, Beat by, Beat by. Baked, uh, a lot of people think it's cooking when they hear it, but it's not. You know the term baking when you bake that powder. So, <laughs> sound like I'm talking about drugs, so. But you know when you baking and stuff like that. I wanted to use some some makeup term, but not necessarily what everybody uses. So that's why I came up with the name Big by Carrie. Makeup term and my middle name. And it's very easy to find. You, Yeah, when you create your channel, make sure it's something that people can find if they type in it in. Like, 
There's some people who have names that don't even sound difficult, but the spelling is very difficult. Like, if, um, if my name is Baked by Carrie, I'm not going to put two A's or two E's to screw somebody up every time they're trying to find my channel. Like, damn, what was it? Two what? You just want to be very simple, but still cute um, and original as far as your name goes. Because if somebody's looking you up, you want them to be able to find your channel. So that's a big deal. Make sure you guys um, don't have no crazy YouTube names. That was off topic. Back to the quality from my first video. Um, what I've changed up and I've seen a difference. Yo, I'm hot. Hold on. Anyways, um, yo, you want to know something crazy? This is off topic, but... When I first used to do makeup, like, I really didn't know what to do, what tools to use, what concealer was for, what foundation was for. I used to literally put foundation on my face and use my sock to dabble it in, and it worked. Anyways, back on topic. Make sure your qualities are great. Um, you don't necessarily have to have a big fancy camera, some crazy fancy lighting, but at least make sure um, you have some kind of light. You don't want it to be dark, you can't even see you. You don't want it to be so low that you can't hear you. If you have a phone with a good camera, you can even use that. Um, when I first started my channel, I made my own ring light. Like, I should have did a DIY on it, but I did. I'm going to show y'all what it looked like. Hold on. This was the ring light that I made. Can y'all see this shit? When I first started. You're not always going to start off with all of the great, wonderful things that everybody has. And I've used that for months. And it did me justice. But when I was able to, I got something better. Um, but I say this to say, just do the best you can as far as your quality goes. Um, and don't get discouraged if you don't have the best products. Because you can make anything work. Like, I used to use that ring light. And I plugged that sucker in and I found a way to prop it up. Every time I found some kind of way to prop it up. Like I had a ghetto set up. Um, another thing that I've done um, is I engage more. So like when I do my videos, especially when you have like makeup questions. Like I, I'm, yeah, I'm doing makeup. I like to use my hands, period. So that's why I've just introduced the DIYs to my channel. Because I do a lot of creative stuff. It's not only just makeup that I do. So I do makeup, DIYs. Um, I love to bake some stuff. Um, I can draw. I don't like to draw, but I can draw. I can, um, oh, I revamp my clothes and stuff, cut them up, sew them together. I do all kinds of stuff. So, I'm creative with my hands, but I like to engage with people as far as makeup. Because even though my makeup looks okay, I mean, you're going to put up your best video, right? You're not going to be like, oh, my, my, my makeup sucks. Let me put this up. So, of course, I put up my best stuff, but it don't mean I always know what I'm doing. So, I do reach out to people. I be like, hey, guys, if you guys know a very great setting powder, can you please let me know in the comments? Just talk to your people. Make them feel like they're part of your video and they're not just watching it like a TV show. Like, you don't even know they exist. Like, I want them to feel welcome. We can have conversations. I have conversations in my comment section all the time with people. Like, I like to meet new people well, online because I meet them in real life, but... <laughs> just engage make people feel welcome like you want them there on your channel um still if you guys know of a good setting powder for highlights let me know not such a buttercup i've used laura mercier i love it but i'm, I'm looking for something else because i don't like such a buttercup at least the yellow mark but laura mercier is a little bit expensive for me for an everyday look so let me know back on topic um <clears throat> what else okay Make sure you promote the hell out of yourself. It doesn't even matter if it's annoying. If you have a Facebook, an Instagram, a Twitter, whatever you got, promote your stuff. Now, every time I drop a video, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, Twitter. Um, I made a pink... Ugh, I'm not picking my boogers, y'all. It just itches, okay? And I'm just wiping off the makeup. It's not a booger, I swear. <laughs> but, um, it's itchy. I made a Pinterest and a Tumblr and a Google Plus just for my YouTube because I'm like, somebody going to see it. Now, those three, people don't really, you know, you can look at the analytics and see what pe where the views are coming from. People don't click on them often, but I get somebody, so it's better than nothing. I, I don't really know how to use those social media, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest. I don't, but I'm going to learn. 
and Google Plus. But as far as Facebook and Instagram go, those are my two top ones. Every time I drop a video, I promote it on everything. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. People might get tired of seeing it, but they can unfollow you. If they're not going to follow you, or if they might like your work enough to not want to unfollow you. Like, ooh, yeah, like I like seeing this stuff from her. So, um, make sure you promote yourself. On Facebook, Facebook, it seems a little like, eh, why even promote here when nobody even Fs with me? But I've noticed that when I post my link for my video on Facebook, nobody likes it. It'd be like zero likes. But when I go and look at the analytics on YouTube, it says that a lot of my views came from Facebook. So they're clicking on the link. Probably some haters. But they're not giving me that thumbs up to let me know. Like, is people even on Facebook trying to even watch my video? They are. It's not all haters. For y'all who ain't haters, I know y'all people who love me and stuff. I know a few, a couple of y'all. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I know y'all be going to watch my videos all the time. Y'all probably got post notifications on YouTube. Okay? So, don't be offended. Ooh, it's hotter in here like a desert. Oh, my Lord. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to try to stop rambling from y'all. For, for I'm going to stop rambling to y'all. And I'm going to just get straight to the point. Because I don't want this video to be too long. You're like, what the hell? What's the point, girl? Hold on. Make sure your thumbnail pops. Okay? My thumbnails, I think, pop. I don't really know. I'm going to be honest with y'all. When I'm doing my own work and stuff like that, I can't really tell... If it's popping, I just look at it like, oh, that's just my work. Like, so I can't tell. But if you can judge your own work as if it was somebody else's, that's a bonus. But um, if your thumbnail pops, more than likely someone will click on it. If your thumbnail is not that great, I don't click on thumbnails that look like they suck because I'm going to think that the video sucks. So make sure that's going on. Um, another thing, make sure your title is exactly what the video is. Um... Now, let's say you did something creative. I found, I'm just telling you guys stuff based on what I've experienced. You can do what you please. But, like, I did, like, a, a makeup look recently. Like, a, and I called it a mermaid colorful look or something like that. And I felt like maybe they're not clicking on it because who the hell is searching that? You know what I'm saying? Not talking about for the promotions and the ads and stuff. Not ads, but like promote my stuff on the social media. But if somebody's typing in something, like let's say you did a um, a purple and blue ombre eyeshadow, I think that you should type that in versus typing in your own made old title like mermaid um, eyeshadow because that's rare. Like people don't type that in. You get what I'm saying? Type make your title something that people are gonna look for. I found that as a mistake for myself. I was like, I don't think people's looking for this, so let me change it. Um, so, yeah, um, what I will say is, um, when you are, like, you know, uploading your video and you're titling it and things like that, also, when you're doing your tags, make sure you put as much tags as you can that will associ associate to your video, like, if you're doing a makeup tutorial, um, then you want to put like makeup tutorial, makeup look, uh, colorful spring makeup tutorial, eyeshadow tutorial, whatever it is you're doing. Just fill that up because people search things differently. You don't want to just keep that empty because you could be missing out on some opportunities. Somebody could type in something and it'll get, you know, you just want your channel to be seen. Um, what else? What else? What else? Be engaged on YouTube, meaning... Um, right now, I'm talking about on other people's videos. So, if you're a YouTuber, then more than likely you watch YouTube a lot. Um, if you do, like, comment on every video that you come upon. Uh, I'm not necessarily... Okay. So, I'm going to talk about comments in a people's videos. It's going to be a little bit different from what other people be saying, though. So, um, whenever you watch a video, just comment because that means you're not invisible. You know what I'm saying? If you comment then you're seen. Whether that person's video that you commented on sees you or someone else sees you. Somebody will see you. And nine times, well I'm not going to say nine times out of ten, maybe four times out of ten just for a regular comment. Somebody will go to your channel. Now, as far as commenting go, the what I would say is you can always comment, put some some nice compliments on somebody's channel. That's nice, right? <laughs> uh, but, a lot of people have been having an issue with people going to the channel saying hey i love your channel i love your video check out my channel and 
Ooh, you want to stuff and stuff? Well, if you want to stuff and stuff, I don't really like that because it just seemed like, dang, do you even watch my videos? You literally just stuff and stuff them. But it's all the same thing, right? Um, I would say I personally, I used to do that when I first started YouTube. But I only did it to, like, the people who were, like, on my level as far as subscriber count. Like, if you had, like, 200 subbies and I had, like, 200 subbies, I'm, I would do that. I would be like, hey, I love your video, blah, blah, blah. I did something similar. Come check out my channel. But I only did it if I saw similar comments, you know, on that video and that person's okay with it. Then I'm like, oh, they don't care. So then, yeah, I'm going to join that. But if I... Um, run across, run upon the channel like that, and nobody, there's no comments like that. The more than like this person does not like that, could have been a spam. They didn't approve it, something like that. So I don't even bother. But I don't see anything wrong with it. If you trying to come up, I'm trying to come up. We both trying to get our subscriber count up. Why not support each other? How else would I know you have a channel if you don't tell me? And how would you know I don't? I have one if you don't tell me. Because let's be honest. All of those comments, you don't click on every single person's freaking name to see if they have a channel. That's a lot. Like, so I would say, if you run across some channels where people don't mind you promoting your channel on their channel, go ahead and do it. Um, if you don't see any comments like that, I suggest you not to do it because it could be offensive to some. Um, however, I don't mind. <laughs> I used to do it. So, in this specific video, this specific video i will approve all comments if you guys want to um do like stuff for subs and check out other channels and network Phil, just do it under here comment whatever you need to to you know engage and get people to know who you are on this video i don't really mind i'll take it all out of spam just so it could be out there um but me personally i don't do that anymore and the reason why I don't is because I want some genuine subscribers. I don't want subscribers to subscribe to my channel just because I subscribe to theirs. Like, you know what I'm saying? I have so many subscribers, sub subs, doesn't, and then and then guess what? Your views are not up like that because a lot of people are just subbing to your channel because they want you to sub to theirs. But it's like, are they actually people who want to watch your stuff? So I cut that out. I still comment on people's video every time I watch it. But it's just always something sweet. But I don't do that, hey, check out my channel anymore. Because if you don't want to, you don't want to. I, I need people to come to my channel because they like my stuff and because they're going to watch it. I don't need you to come there, click the red button, and never show up again because it's a waste. So you guys can choose what you want to do. Now we're going to move on to... Um, excuse me. Ooh consistency um you want to be consistent so let's say you well my channel is not a makeup channel it's a whatever the hell I feel like doing channel <laughs> I mean I'm all for beauty I love looking marvelous you know I love doing makeup I'm still practicing makeup um you know what this is off topic y'all and y'all probably not gonna believe me but this is the dead honest truth let me tell y'all this real quick because I ain't gonna say this again I have never done someone else's makeup besides my own. I've never touched makeup to another person's face. I don't even know if I can. Some people might be like, oh, you can. If you can do it to yourself, you can do it to others. It's not true. Because I used to do my own hair. Well, I still do my own hair. I don't go to the salon. And when I first started doing my own hair, it was not that easy doing other people's hair. It's like I didn't know how to do my hair only and it's the same thing for makeup like I've never done anyone else's face like I wonder if they face gonna be beat or hit when I'm finished with it but that is crazy anyways back on topic you want to be consistent so you don't want to be disappearing from your channel for mad long and then coming back like oh new video because some people might not even be looking for your channel anymore and this is for like you know YouTube started that post notifications thing well, we're going to get on that, but, um, what the hell wrong with my damn shit? But what I'm trying to say is, if you are one of those channels that have, like, that say, like, 
oh, I post every week. Make sure you post every week. If you say I post every Thursday, make sure you post every Thursday. Don't be not doing it. Because if I come there on Thursday and they'll be like, is she, is she long? Is she not coming here? I've seen some people who have channels and they ain't posting nine months. And then they make a, 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 a debut. That's what they call it. A debut. A premiere. <laughs> I don't know. They just pop the hell up after nine months. I'm like, girl, get the hell out of here. I'm going to try to watch this because you're going to disappear again. But um, you want to just be active. You want to be consistent. I specifically don't have that little note that say, oh, I post every week, every Tuesday. Because I try to make as much videos as I can. And I just put them out. So every week, you're going to get something from me. Like this week, I think I posted maybe like four videos. You know? So I'm not gonna. So it's I, I. I just try to post as much as I can. Now for the people who's working, that's cool. Post every week or whatever. But try to get something up there. If you disappear, ain't nobody gonna be really messing with your channel like that. So you just need to be active. Okay. So trending stuff. So listen, this video is about how to get your YouTube um your subscriber account up. But I'm kind of like a beauty channel mostly. So I know it's gonna be a lot of y'all watching. But for whoever's not, if you see whatever your channel is about, I don't know, if you a builder, if you do recipes, if you do makeup, if you do hair, whatever is trending, try to stay on that. So, you know how, like, um, they had that floating liner going around? If you know that's trending, do it. Like, try to get that up quick so you could be in that, like, because people are going to look for it. Floating liner, visible liner. Like, try to do things that are trending. Now, what I would say is it could be hard sometimes whether it's trending or not to get seen on YouTube when you're new. If you guys type in the word makeup tutorial in the search bar on YouTube, you will see the same people come up in the same sequence every single time. And I think that the first one is like uh, a vanilla girl. I don't want to say wait. Um, well, like a blue background or something like that. And it's the same every time. So it's like, do y'all give other people a chance? It's like, we're new or whatever. So whether it's trending or not, we're not going to be on the first page. It's very hard to get there. And um, I feel like social media and YouTube is being kind of unfair. Because it's like, if you're popular, you're just going to remain popular. If you're not popular, then it's going to be real hard for you to get popular. Like, how can I become seen how can people know who I am on your YouTube platform on YouTube if YouTube is not even helping me out? Like, you got me on page 30 somewhere. If I type in um, Invisible Liner and I have four pages of people that I've seen already, I'm not going to go over to page 30. You understand what I'm saying? But it doesn't necessarily mean that your stuff sucks. It just means that I feel like they promote people who are already big, who ever have a big following and more views. That's their algorithm. That's what they do. So it's going to be a little more difficult. So make sure you always promote yourself on your social medias. Make sure you always comment and engage on YouTube so people can know who you are so you're not just invisible. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else, guys? What else? Okay, do, I would also say to do things that people watch a lot. I've noticed that, but it doesn't work for everyone, so don't be discouraged if it doesn't. Um, skincare routine, people love that stuff, and I don't know why. Maybe because people want clear skin, I would do it, but that's popular. Like, when I put that up, I think I had, like, I'm going to be honest, like, my videos, it does not get that much views in one day but that specific video got like a hundred views in one day and now i think it's up to like five something it could have possibly been more if i didn't put other videos in front of it um but um anyways skincare routines i think is like very popular everyday makeup looks is very popular well not popular but it's like things that people search a lot so you want to think about what would people search people don't always search smoky eye ombre lip people will search things that's like done on the regular you know what I'm saying so try to do videos also for people who want to see something that's done like on the regular like some normal kind of stuff so um that'll help a lot too to get some traffic to your channel um what else guys what else um 
I'm thinking I have so much stuff to say um, but it's like now that I'm sitting here talking to you guys I don't even know what to say anymore <laughs> but um all right I'm gonna say this too try to be original just be yourself I know that there are some okay let me say I'm, I'm saying this because be yourself be original stay true to yourself do not lose who you are or try to mimic this person or that person because it doesn't always work I like to see genuine people when I see people talking and being they stuff I'm like oh I like her if I see you acting like that girl over there because she popular I'm like she just put on an act you ever seen somebody that's like super freaking extra like I don't want to see that I want to see you like I want to see you like when I watch videos I want to connect with the person so just be yourself because people like that um, um make sure you're putting out stuff that people want to watch there's been times that there's been a few subscribers who request a certain look from me now I'm not saying just to only do like what if I want to do my own thing you could do your own thing but if your subscribers are your viewers so if they want to see something give them what they want to see now I'm not saying if you do makeup build a house because they ask you to build a house but if it's makeup related and it's what you do like why not create that look for them keep them engaged make them know that you care about you know what they want to see and you you look y'all know what I'm trying to say oh oh this is a big one how did I forget about this try to collab with somebody I'm actually looking for someone to collab with so collabing with somebody will help you out because if that person has their own set of subscribers and you have your own set of subscribers and y'all collab, it's like a big, huge shout out to them, for, to your peoples and to their peoples. You know what I'm saying? So that's a big one. I need to try to collab. Excuse me. I'm looking to try to collab now with some people or whatever. Make sure when you collab, it makes sense. Don't go overboard. If you know you got 500 subscribers, don't even hit nobody up with 10,000 subscribers tell about you want to collab or no because it needs to be beneficial for the both of y'all so you, it, it, you okay I have like 1300 subscribers right now it's not a lot but if somebody with 300 wants to collab it's not I'm, I'm gonna say no and it's not gonna be because I don't think their work is great but it's like benefiting you but it's not benefiting me so you kind of gotta even it out you know what I'm saying so collabing is a real big thing but guys just stay active and don't get discouraged because I know it can be tough like I put my all into my videos and I really do now like I said I don't mimic anybody I do my own thing I see people come on in they like at the beginning of the video I don't know what I'm talking about but I don't do that because I feel like it's giving away the look at the end like I only put that stuff at the end of my video because I want to be like okay let me show you how I got this look now bam here's the final look I don't like to just give it all the way at the beginning so I've seen people do that it might work whatever but I am being myself I don't want to mimic what everybody else is doing because it's working for them I'm gonna do what I want to do I put my all into these videos I'm I try to be as creative as I can I think about what I think y'all would like I'll be trying out some new techniques like um, but just don't get discouraged. It gets tough. There's been times where I personally, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm just like, y'all, I don't even know if I want to do this no more because some people is super popular on here and they make them don't even pop like that. No shade, but it's true. Or we could be like on the same level and it's just like, <laughs> you're just not going to get seen because social media, YouTube, they promote the bigger people already and they kind of just make it hard for the newbies. But just keep on pushing and y'all are going to get it. Um, I really, really hope that this video helped some of you guys out. Um, again, those are the techniques that I've done to get my subscriber count up and it really worked. Um, I hope that it works out for you guys. Continue to keep doing your great work. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, wait a minute. This is about subscriber count, right? Make sure y'all click that red button. Okay? Click that little red button. Make sure I give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what you want to see me do next. And put on that bell for notifications. Because I'm going to have a good whole bunch of good shit for y'all. Love you. Bye.